Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have an unbagging today. Uh, this is actually a uh, seller contacted me through Facebook and wanted me to um, show their diamond paintings. At first he um, was going to send me a rather small 30 by 25 and I'm like that size is really hard to show the quality of a store because images do not really show well in that small of a size unless it's really a simple image. So he, I guess I convinced him to go up a size to 30 by 40. So he sent me this diamond painting. I will show you what it's supposed to look like. Um, it is a 30 by 40 like I said and they go for 1127 right at this moment of filming which is May 22nd. I ordered it with him May 8th and I don't know when he shipped it because I don't actually have the record of the shipping but um, I received it May 20th so it took 12 days to get here and this is supposed to be a full round so here is the image. Now you know how I like color blocking, so I'm kind of curious to see how much of this is actually blocked and how much is actually like blended and there's a, you know, a lot of different colors. So let's dig in and see what we got. Oh, the store is called Zuya Beautiful Store and it's a newer store, you know, through Zuya. And they actually have their own covers now, it looks, appears. And it doesn't seem like there's going to be a lot of colors to it. That's a good thing, in my opinion. Here's the toolkit. It is around, so they sent, um, well, that's kind of surprising. Maybe they sent a square, I don't know. But they sent the metal tweezers. And a couple baggies white tray, big square of wax, and a single placer. And it's a square. Uh, I didn't know he was going to be sending a square. I went to the product description and it says round. So I guess because, you know, I didn't do the specifics of the order, I wasn't sure what to get. I thought it would be round though. That would explain one of the reasons why there's tweezers. There are more baggies inside the drills. Um, there's just a handful in the bag, so you get a handful plus another little handful. All right, so lots of blues in here, 22 colors, and they do have the manual check marks on it. So let's look at this canvas. It came on a rather thick, one of the thicker rollers. And they have the clear rubber bands covering it, which I personally do not like having um, the rubber bands over it because I have found that it actually damages the um, canvas in places. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, 30 by 40, so it's not super big. This should, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I've, this is the first time I've actually seen, I've ordered from Zuya some of their other stores before, but this is the first time I've ever seen the Zuya cover paper. All right. Okay, it wants to curl up on the other side. It looks really nice and there are some stress bubbles I'll call them from being on the roller but it doesn't appear that the rubber bands affected it any it's these bubbles were just from being on the roller because if it was still rolled around those bubbles wouldn't be there yeah the bubbles aren't there if it's curved but once you unroll it that's when you get these. I don't know if something specific causes that, but 
the symbols are really clear. In fact, this looks like it's going to be good for checkerboarding because there's a lot of alternation in the symbols. So something this size, I don't mind doing a square. Um, like I said, these symbols are really clear and it's I mean, multi placers would also work too because they're not just in single alternating pack, uh, patterns. They actually have it where they're alternating in like fours and then threes and fours. So this might actually be pretty fun. Let me uh, pull the other side off and then we can get it flat so we can see it better. I just wish there was a way to avoid getting the, let me try something that they have actually mentioned before, just doing something like this beforehand, before opening it, and see if it takes them out on this side. Just a little experiment. This is just a bone bone folder. To try and maybe relax it before opening it. Maybe I'm just just trying whatever I can because I have this issue with many unboxings that I've done that come on rollers. That's why I prefer that they're just like. Um, rolled around the inside of a box, but when they come in a bag, you can't really do that. Okay. So this one has very few, the same kind of stress bubbles. So now that it's completely, let me flip it around, it's completely flat. Let's look at it like this so we can see what it looks like. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure what the colors are yet um, and how they're going to blend, but it's kind of hard to tell on an image like this that has so many colors that are similar. They have to have the symbols, you know, there's some white symbols in here, so it's hard to see the actual color blended with big white symbols staring up at you because it looks like, well, there's going to be some sky up there that's totally different color than the rest of it. So no, uh, they do still have a blue, uh, black background of the white symbols. And then the black symbols actually have the color of the background more to what the color of the image is going to be. So, all right. This side, I did notice, didn't get as many of those stress bubbles. So let's see if using the bone folder worked on this other side. I'm going to use it to... Lay it back down here, too. Get it flat. Oh, those rubber bands out of the way. All right. Do this again. Do it this way, maybe. There's just a little bit of air between the cover and the canvas. Okay, now let's see if those came out. Oh, you can still see where they were, but they're flatter than they were. So you don't actually have to do it on the canvas itself because I would actually rub these down with, you know, something like this on the canvas. But, you know, you do risk making the adhesive not stick so well when you do it that way but it works it's efficient when you do you can either do it with the exacto knife cutting the bubbles and then laying them down by rubbing them down with this or you can just rub it down straight with this kind of item something uh soft plastic or hard plastic like this but some people use the tip of a drill pin the metal part i i don't want to do that because that I don't want a chance ripping the canvas. 
So this this works well. I mean, it's flattened, but it kind of makes it where it looks ugly until you get the drills down, and the glare makes it kind of hard to see what the symbol is. But you can see where I rubbed it down, right here. It still looks like it's uh, marred, but it's not. It looks like it might be still bubbled, but it's not. It is just, um, yeah, these bubbles are a little too high for this to work like this. It's got to be, because they're not, it's not staying down. I'd have to cut those to release the air and then push it down. Because this, doing this, it helped it a little bit, but it didn't make it stay perfectly It didn't make the bubble go away completely. So there we go. This is very minor. Um, something like this I would not contact a shop for because it's so small. The ones I would call a contact a shop for is if it's huge bubbles, really big ones and they're everywhere. Plus, you know, like you can tell like if you have a pucker on the back here where it's bubbled on the canvas itself, I call those puckers. Um, those are you can fix them, but it's a lot of work, and I honestly don't think you should have to. If that is done like that, that means that when the person in production put the double-sided adhesive cover over, which is this, onto the canvas, the canvas side was not completely flat when they did it. So then the, the sticker went on it, and it bu bunched up down here, and it was flat on the other side, so it causes a pucker. So the canvas looks good. I am happy with the canvas. Now let's look at the drills. Beautiful colors. Look at that blue. Oh my gosh, I love that color. 3844. I am impressed with the um, baggies. I like it when they put the holograph number in a holograph because it makes it a lot easier to read. And so let's just go through here and make sure all the diamonds are counted for. And I get my pink pen. Where'd you go? Here it is. All right, so three, eight, four, four. Uh, it says 15 bags. That's not the biggest one. The uh, biggest is the 3842, which was that diamond. It with the white. It was the white symbol with the black background. So yeah, there's a lot of blending going on here. 22 different blues. Well, and blacks. Um, actually, there is no black. There's no 310. So it's blues and white. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are all there. And 3, 7, 5, 6. So that's that greenish, greenish white color. White with a green tint to it. And then we got 3, 8, 6, 5. One bag. Oh, it says I should have four. Wait, that's the wrong number. I'm sorry. 3865, right here. One bag. Uh, 317. And lots of single bags in this size. I've noticed that um, because it's not the largest, there's a lot going to be a lot of single colors. 3846. Another really pretty blue. Well, like I said, they're all blue. Blue and, and then the white and whitish green colors. Um, even 939, that is a very dark blue. Okay, 995. This is, well, this has 25 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 4, 25. All there. Nine 
my knife up. Okay. And then we've got 823, which is another navy blue color. Three bags. And 996. Three bags. 825. We have one bag. Uh, three, seven. I'll see the paint's coming off on this one. Three, seven, six, six. One bag. Uh, 803. Six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, ma'am. They're there. Three, seven, six, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the one that has four. Okay, five, seventeen, one bag. Eight, twenty-seven, one bag. Three, eighteen, one bag. Nine, three, nine, five. All right, and we got seven, seventy-five, one bag. Mm, I want to do that long one last. 826. One bag. Big pile of ones. There's another one. 3842. Oh, wait. 3842 is with this one. So, 3843. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 803. Did I just forget to mark it off? Because I thought we counted it. Yeah, I did. It's right there. Why didn't I not mark it off? Three, eight, four, five. Okay. Um, so three, eight, four, two has says twenty-seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, and twenty-seven. So all of the drills are counted for. And I don't even think I gave this a name because I've only, I just wrote the information in my book. Um, I'll just call this the Guitar Skyline because that's what it is. It looks like a guitar. A guitar. I've always wanted to get one of these. I mean, I've seen them in different colors. Uh, but blue is really pretty. I'm surprised. It kind of looks like there was there would be kind of a sunset color, like a pinkish purple in there. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. Maybe not. Yeah, you can't really see it. But I think that might have just been a printer not having enough color. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is pretty good. Um, like I said, the store just opened up on AliExpress. Um, let's see. The store has been open since May 1st, 2014. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was a new store, but no. I guess it's one of the Zuya stores that have been around. Maybe he has just recently acquired it, but he did um, find me on Facebook and asked me to work with him and that's how they approach me normally is asking if I want to work with them a lot of people think that I um, distribute diamond paintings um, because my name is diamond painting by Donnie so yeah I can see how that could be misunderstood but um, there we go that is it for Zuya beautiful store on AliExpress I will leave the link to this diamond painting down below the prices are are decent I mean Paint 1127 for a 30 by 40 by 30 is, um, I'd say pretty good. Um, you also get $2 off on $22 purchases. Um, the 30 by 25 is $8.42 and a 25 by 20 is $6 and 71 cents. So if you want to go bigger, a 60 by 45 is $24 and 38 cents. So I will, like I said, leave a link to this down below. In the comment section and they do have a 99.5% positive feedback 
Um, and they do have over 17,000 followers. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, let me know what you think. Have you ordered from any of the Zuya stores, stores before? Um, I would have to go back and look through my uh, other unboxings to see what my experience was because I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure I've ordered something from Zuya in one of the stores before. Um, I do know this looks good. I, of course, you don't know completely until you've actually worked up the canvas. You've worked with the drills and you were able to check out how well it sticks and stays. So, yeah, let me know what your experience with Zuya has been. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.